Hello from Custer, South Dakota. Why can I do that radio wave? Hello and welcome. Um, we stopped at Maria's, a street truck on the main drag in Custer, South Dakota, to get breakfast burrito. If you don't want to have a, like a real, go to like a real um, little town that's real, I don't know, kitschy, Custer's like your most normal. Exactly. Like, we're in, this is where people kind of live and do their thing. Right, it's like an authentic town, and they serve authentic Mexican. Mmm. How do you know it's authentic? She does not look Mexican. No, it, they just say authentic Mexican <laughs> on that truck. Um, <laughs> oh. Custer population, not sure. Smallish? Small. Um, it's a very touristy center town. It's of, not like Sturgis or anything or Keystone. Mm -mm. Or any of those. Keystone is fake. We spend a lot of time in here because it's easy to eat, not a lot of tourists. Mm hmm. Um, at the food truck, um, I asked her how her business is lately. Is she pretty slow, pretty busy? What What do you think she said? Average. Business is up, way up. Oh. And she said she thinks it's because of the pandemic. And I said, well, coming from the city, the fact that she's an outdoor food truck with a window on the sidewalk, to me, makes me feel more safe. She said she thinks that's exactly what it is. She said it's sad because that means that business is down, way down for all of the indoor restaurants, but for her, it's going good. I got, uh, we both got breakfast burritos. I got one with bacon and potatoes and beans. Is it good? Yeah, it's really good. It's like Thank smoky you. kind of. Um, Susan got a chorizo breakfast burrito. This, it was, uh, I think it was 4 25 each. Um, and uh, you could have a choice of different salsas. Oh, I bet that's a problem. Yesterday. Is it, that mine or yours? Yours. I apologize if Susan was hard to hear. Yesterday was an epic day in the hills. Yeah, we saw so many awesome things. We oh. came, we've come here how many times? Five, maybe? Maybe five times. Yesterday was the most epic day we've had. We saw, oh, I'll insert videos. Insane. Um, insane. We saw several Everything. hundred, um, several hundred For check -off list, buffaloes. We checked off everything except elk. Yep. Um, Otherwise, we saw Got a few donkeys, the big and burrows. I the burrows were abandoned here by miners that came back in the day and uh, they lived. I love them. A they couple years me. ago, there was a huge fire, the Legion Lake fire, that really threatened so much the park. Oh. And the Began Burrows, adorbs, apparently not that bright, could not figure out how to get out of the way of the fastly approaching flames, or maybe it really was fast, I'm not really it sure. It probably was. All six, all nine of them sustained some type of injuries. Four had to be rushed to, um, or no, six had to be rushed to get vet care. Three of them died. So the park got four more from a neighboring park. And then one of those got bit by a prairie rattlesnake a couple months later and died, which is super sad. Also, there are rattlesnakes, so you should always be careful when you're walking around in the wilderness. Though you'll probably survive from a prairie rattlesnake bite, um, but it will cost you so much money. You would have thought in the middle of the night last night that there was a rattlesnake in the cabin that we were in. Was the two human beings reacted to this sound? That was it. That was it. We it was both... pure silence. Boom. And then, and we were both. Up Did you do that? Right. No. Did you do that? No. It was a mouse. Why does one mouse create such terror Fear. in two adult humans? Getting no, back to no little shit. Maria? We had no food in that place. What the hell? I had a big canister of picnic sticks, but I, that wasn't where the mouse was. No, we had no food in there. Um, he was trying to get in a, a grocery bag that had nothing in it. Uh, uh, anyway, little granola. shit, go outside. Um, Maria, if you find yourself in South Dakota, go to Custer. Good luck Come with on, the drive. You know. The drive is painful. 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 Because 15 hours.
And that isn't even the worst that we've ever done. It's a nine it's, hour drive. It's, yeah, for a normal human adult female, you can make it in nine You and can a half do hours. it in 11 hours solid if you stop three times. Yeah. You can do it. Stop three times. I would never know what we that was like. We stopped at least a dozen. No, we didn't. Yes, we did. Eight. We, cause we, no, we got into the Badlands and we're in and out, in oh. and out, in and oh, out. Oh, I don't really count. The Badlands had a time, but yeah, we did that. It took a long time. And um, then we proceeded to dump our stuff off in the cabin and go down to the wildlife loop. And drive for Best two more hours. Best decision we so ever we made. So we saw hundreds of buffalo. Hundreds? And we saw uh, 13 donkeys. I counted them. So the, the little tribe of donkeys is doing well. Bighorn sheep? Yes. We, that we saw inside the Badlands. We saw one adult male and an adult female that was collared. So like tagged. And a baby. I've never seen a baby bighorn sheep before. I can't um, turkeys. say that it's one of the more adorable babies. Wild turkeys inside Custer. Never saw wild turkeys no, here before. Some deer, but I can't Burrowing at a glance. Owl. Right. Lots of deer. Always lots of deer. Um, they're like your squirrels at home. They're everywhere. We saw the same two, three times because we drove around like maniacs and then, and then we saw swayed. like a handful more. And we're like, you have noticed us again? They just went, they're hooked. We're headed to Spearfish Canyon. We've never been there before. Right. I think we're going to go probably by I, Crazy Horse. I saw some big words online about what Spearfish Canyon is about, so I hope it holds up to the hype that I read. Really? Don't yeah. tell me. I'm not going to. <laughs> All right. Oh, Wait a minute. Maria's food truck. It's the only food truck probably in the state. State. Literally. I did see a couple people wearing masks. Hey, tourists, if you're a tourist from uh, an infected place going to a smaller town, you're bringing disease with you, Mask wear some up. fucking masks. I'm not upset at the South Dakotans for not wearing masks. No, I understand. They shouldn't it. have to. No, but all the tourists. They don't have the disease are. here until we bring it, and then they're gonna have it. Not we, I mean we. It's very cold today. Today it's gonna be 48. I've never been in the hills where it's been even remotely this cold. And it's usually Thanks 90. a lot, Sanders Sanitation Service, with their loud truck ruining this famous video. Go to Maria's. 